हेलो एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द बूस्ट डोज सो वॉट इज इट डू वी ऑल नीड टू टेक इट और वो कैन गेट इट वॉट आर इट्स साइड इफेक्ट्स वॉट इज एडिशनल डोज एंड मेनी मोर थिंग्स दैट यू शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ सो वॉट इज द बूस्टर बूस्टर मीन्स गिविंग अ डोज अगेन टू इंक्रीज इफिकेसी ऑफ वैक्सीन which generally fades off over time a covid booster shot is nothing but a vaccine which is given after your complete vaccination that is after two doses of vaccines either you have taken covaxin or a covishield over here i am particularly talking about vaccines given in india we will also talk about cdc guidelines and vaccines that are given in united states as well what researchers said that these rna vaccines are not effective for a long period of time they generally remain effective for 3 months or 6 months maximum so we have a gap of 3 months between first and second dose in case of covid shield after second dose you can still incur infection with the same strain or with a different strain as we all know that virus is undergoing mutations and it will further mutate in future and it can infect you but the severity will be less so the booster is designed to help people maintain their level of immunity for longer few countries have been giving covid booster doses to certain groups of their population india has come up with guidelines on booster dose according to the new guidelines the dose is given 9 months that is 39 weeks after completion of the second dose of covid vaccine the side effects are reported to be similar to the previous two doses like fever muscle pains headache pain or swelling at the injection site any unusual side effects or symptoms extending beyond a couple of days are to be reported immediately individuals are supposed to get the same vaccine as the previous doses and no mix and match are allowed unlike other countries for example people who have taken two doses of covishield are advised to take the covishield booster shot and those who have taken covaxin should go for the covaxin booster shot now in case of india who can take this booster dose now it is being given to those who are registered as a frontline workers such as healthcare workers nurses and doctors etc and also citizens age 60 years or more will be eligible for booster dose here the eligible person should be fully vaccinated and he or she must have completed a period of 39 weeks which is 9 months after the second dose if we talk about the united states three covid-19 vaccines are authorized or approved for use in the united states to prevent covid-19 pfizer biontech moderna are preferred you may get johnson and johnson's janssen covid-19 vaccine in some situations now if we talk about the cdc guidelines if you have uh, received or if you have taken pfizer biontech vaccine then there should be a gap of at least 5 months after completing your primary vaccination series and after that everyone 12 years and older can get either a pfizer biontech or moderna booster if you have received moderna vaccine then there should be a gap of at least 5 months after completing your primary covid-19 vaccination series and after that adults 
एटीन ईयर्स एंड ओल्डर कैन गेट फाइजर बायो एंटेक और मॉडर्ना बूस्टर इफ यू हैव रिसीव्ड जॉनसन एंड जॉनसन जैनसीन्स वैक्सीन देर शुड बी अ गैप ऑफ एटलीस्ट टू मंथ्स after receiving your johnson and johnson's janssen covid-19 vaccine and after that adults of age 18 years and older can get pfizer biontech or moderna individuals who have a medical condition associated with immunosuppression are eligible to receive an additional vaccine dose I have provided the link of CDC website in the description below visit it for the latest information on vaccine boosters Now what are covid booster side effects After getting vaccinated for covid-19 you might experience some temporary symptoms similar to those you might notice when you get a flu shot such as a sore swollen arm where you got the shot you might run a fever and experience body aches headaches and tiredness for a day or two chills swollen lymph nodes can also occur any unusual side effects or symptoms extending beyond a couple of days are to be reported immediately now one more thing i would like to mention over here is additional dose people generally use the two terms that is a booster dose and additional dose or third dose interchangeably but these two terms are not same they are different from each other so what is the difference between a booster and an additional dose a covid-19 booster is given when a person has completed their vaccine series and protection against the virus has decreased over time for example if you receive a moderna booster you will receive half of the original moderna dose on the other hand an additional dose is administered to people with moderately to severely compromised immune systems that is additional dose is given to immunocompromised individual now what are immunocompromised individuals so immunocompromised individual means an individual whose immune system is weakened due to disease or certain medications now people are considered to be moderately or severely immunocompromised if they have been receiving active cancer treatment for tumors or cancers of the blood if they have received an organ transplant and are taking medicine to suppress the immune system if they have received a stem cell transplant within the last 2 years or are taking medicine to suppress the immune system if they are diagnosed with moderate or severe primary immunodeficiency if they are diagnosed with hiv and have a high viral load or low cd4 count or are not currently taking medication to treat hiv or if they are taking drugs like high dose steroids or other medications that may cause severe suppression of the immune system if you are not sure whether you fit into any of these categories please contact your medical provider for more details please review the cdc's information for moderately to severely immunocompromised people you will get the link of cdc in description below hope you will find this video informative if you like this video then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon do like comment and share this video have a happy learning